Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it. Tell me your name. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bill Daler. Okay, and it's William Edward Daler, William isn't it? William Edward Daler, yes. Okay, <laughs> and I've got a little checklist here. We'll go down and I'll just ask you okay. questions about it. When were you born? Uh, January 17, 1926. Okay. Where do you currently live, Dr. Daler? Uh, here in Portsmouth, 2125 Timlin Road. Okay. And uh, before then, where, where did you live? I lived at uh, Knights and Offenier, corner of Knights and Offenier. In Portsmouth also? In Portsmouth, yes. Okay. All How long life. have you lived in Portsmouth then? All my life. All my Okay. <laughs> um, tell me your... Uh, the library likes to get a little family tree. Okay. What were your parents' names? Your father's name starting. My, my father was uh, John Walter Daler. Mm -hmm. My mother was uh, Ada Rosenbush Daler. What was her maiden name? Rosenbush. Rosenbush. Okay. Where was she from? She was from Union City, Indiana. <laughs> Where was your father from? He was from Portsmouth. <laughs> And uh, I wonder how they met. Do you know that story? Uh, yes. Uh, my father was a doctor, and uh, my mother was a nurse, and they met at the Cincinnati General Hospital when they both were in training. I see. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> in, in the early 1900s. <laughs> well, um, I'm wondering how far back can you go? Do you know your father's parents? Your oh. I, I can go uh, go way back. I I have uh, been very interested in genealogy, okay. and a matter of fact, I wrote a book okay. on my uh, grandfather's history of over nearly four hundred pages, and uh, it goes back to they go back to the sixth seventeenth century. Oh my goodness! And would that be Germany or in Germany? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, when did your ancestors come over to America? Uh, my grandfather came to uh, America and to Portsmouth uh, in 1854 oh, my. Uh, with a family, uh, a family called Leichner's. And this family uh, had uh, about eight children, but he was... Uh, kind of the lone wolf in the family, and he just kind of tagged along to get a ride with them <laughs> and the, on the boat. And um, it turned out later that uh, three or four years after they all settled in Portsmouth, that he married one of these Leichner daughters, my grandfather. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, why did they pick up Portsmouth from... Well, that, that's a good question. I think because maybe one of the... Uh, Leichner, uh, the Leichner may have had a brother that was here, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm a little not sure about this because this was in the middle of the 19th century and it's, it's a little hard to get uh, some of the facts, but, and. Mm -hmm. uh, have, have you ever been to Germany where, where your roots were? Have you been to there? <laughs> Many times. <laughs> really? Where, what's the name of the town? Well, it's called Höchst on the Nieder. <laughs> and uh, Hexton and Eater is uh, about 30 miles north uh, uh, east of Frankfurt on okay. Maine. Mm -hmm. And I've been to Germany probably 10 times. <laughs> well, the question comes up, have you located any relatives still over there? Yes, we do. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I, I have a very, a very dear relative that I've met. And we have visited there, and they have come here oh, to Portsmouth. My. Oh, gosh. And um, they have even come to one of our family reunions. Oh, my. <laughs> That's wonderful. How, and, about uh, your, how about your mother? What, what was her maiden name again? Rosenbush. What? Rosenbush. What was her background? Well, she, uh, she was from an old German family, too, that uh, settled in Union City, her... Uh, her father and her grandfather were both in Union City, Indiana, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, my grandfather uh, Rosenbush, uh, owned a uh, uh, coal and stone and uh, 
uh, distributing of uh, materials like that mm -hmm. there in Union City. Has anybody done any work on her ancestry? Well, I've, I've done a little bit, yes, okay. myself, yeah. Uh -huh. now, th this, this writing, is it in, if somebody watching this, a relative wanted to look at this writing, could they come to you and you have the books and you have yes. the material and everything? The, the book I wrote on uh, my grandfather is in the library downstairs. Oh my, yes. And uh, there's a copy down there. And uh, Okay. Uh, I might say we're at the Portsmouth Public Library, library yes. now in Portsmouth, Ohio, mm -hmm, so, yeah. and we've got a local history section here. Is that yes, where it's that's at? that's where it is, yes. Oh, great, great, great. Mm -hmm. yes, um, well then, um, did you have brothers and sisters? Yes, uh, I have, uh, had one brother and two sisters. Okay, uh -huh. and, and uh, are, are they still around? Are they still They're around? They're all deceased now. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. My brother was uh, Attorney Carl Daler. Oh, I see. And uh, I remember that name. I know and that name. my my one sister uh, Dorothy Brown was married to Attorney Charles Brown. I know, I know <laughs> Charlie. Knew Charlie. Yes, he was a character. And uh, my other sister uh, Anna uh, died a couple years ago at the age of ninety-eight. Oh wow! And. Yes. Uh, hmm. She lived here in Portsmouth, too. So the, the, you all grew up in, the whole family grew up here in Portsmouth, yes. didn't you? Yes, we did. Okay. And then um, did, you got married? You got married? Yes. I got married uh, in 1950. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, girl I met at the University of Michigan, oh. where I was attending, and um, um, she... she uh, she passed away in uh, uh, 1999, uh, okay. and I uh, remarried uh -huh. and, uh, two years later. Okay. Is she still living, too, the se your second wife? Is oh, she? yes, okay. yes. Right. She probably answered the phone there the other day yes. when I called, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so then you got married after you had been in the service, correct? Oh, yes. You, you graduated from high school here in Portsmouth, yes, right? Yes, in 19, 1943. 43? What did you do after you graduated? Well, um, I went immediately to, uh, this was, of course, the time of World War II, and uh, I immediately uh, uh, went away to college. I went to MIT. Um, I took an exam to get in there, and uh, I, I started the, in the summer of 43. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was 17 years old then, and uh, you, didn't, you weren't drafted until you were 18 in World War II. And, um, so I had a year, a year of college before I had to go into the Navy. Mm -hmm. You weren't drafted in the Navy. Were you well, joined, or what? how did that work? More or less, but I, but I had signed up. What I tried to do was uh, uh, get in the V-12 program, which was a program for officers in the Navy. If you go to, they would pay for your college and you can go to uh, and become an ensign when you came out. Well, I tried to do that, but in my physical exam, they found out I was colorblind. Hmm. And they said, no, we don't, don't take you. Hmm. So I found out about a, uh, radio technicians program the Navy had, uh, which was sort of what I, what I was interested in by going to MIT, was electronics. And so I, I signed up for this uh, electronics uh, radio technicians program, and um, they didn't care if I was colorblind. <laughs> no, I don't think. <laughs> Even though there was probably more things to tell in colors with uh, wires and everything than oh, there would have yeah. been being an officer. <laughs> I didn't think of that, the colored wires and everything. <laughs> so you, so uh, you signed up for that program? I signed up for that program, uh -huh. and uh, so I went in the service then, and uh, after a year at MIT, I went in the summer of 1944. What did you major in in college when you were at MIT? Well, the first year, everybody takes pretty much the same right. thing there. Right. Yeah, but I was signed up in electrical, electro, electrical engineering, mm -hmm. but uh, it didn't mean much because, as I said, everybody took the same thing. When you were in high school, did you work anywhere? Did you have any summer jobs? 
Uh, menial ones. <laughs> menial? Well, that's a summer job. Menial, summer job. I remember picking corn once down in the bottoms. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, well, what, what did your uh, folks think about you joining the Navy? Well, they knew, uh, they knew we had to do service. And so uh, I, I think they were agreeable to it. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, so. Well, how about your brother? Did he uh, join or what? No, he, he uh, had a medical uh, uh, disability mm -hmm. that kept him out. How about your sisters? Were they able to do something then? Uh, well, my one sister worked with the uh, civ civilian corps here in town, mm -hmm. civil service type, type thing mm -hmm. during the war. And uh, okay, everybody kind of pitched in, then, yes, didn't they? they did. yeah, sure did. Yeah, and your and your dad was well, your father was a, a physician at that time. Physician, yes. Okay. And he uh, he examined. Uh, he was the examiner for selective service. I see. And so he. Uh, either uh, kind of passed or unpassed people to get in service. <laughs> okay, what a job that would be, right? He, he did that for many, for quite a few years during the war. Uh, so where, where did you do your basic training, your boot camp for the Navy? A boot camp, I went to uh, Great Lakes. Great Lakes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. how long was that? That was, uh, I, as I recall, I'm a little clear, uh, can't remember some of the times, but I think it was just about four weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I was there, I played, it. I played the musical instrument, so I was in their drum and bugle corps. What did you play? <laughs> well, I played a trumpet there, but in, in the high school and in college, I played the French horn. There you are. <laughs> and in the Navy, you played the bugle? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, and, and later on in the dance band, in the, one of my schoolings, I played the French horn in a dance band. In a dance band? <laughs> While you were in the Navy? Yes. <laughs> a Navy dance band. Yeah. That's great. Well, after, after your boot camp, then, where did they send you? Well, uh, I went to a place called Wright Junior College in Chicago. And uh, that also was about four weeks. That was very basic uh, uh, math and... Uh, basic science more than any radio technician work, mm -hmm. but it was very basic and very easy for me. Was it? <laughs> yeah. You liked that kind of thing, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Very. Okay, well, well after, after that, so you're about in for eight weeks. Do you, you're in the Navy here. It's about eight, eight weeks have gone by. That's enough time for you to figure out whether you're going to like this or not, isn't yeah. it? So what happened? Did you like it or what? Well, yeah, I, I, I kind of liked it so far. It, mm -hmm. wasn't, it wasn't too hard. There's some, mm -hmm. some strenuous things you had to do that I didn't go for. But Did uh, they make you go underwater in the Navy? Don't, don't they make you go well, underwater? Well, we, one, one school, we, we practiced uh, a lot of uh, water swimming and, and water safety things like what to do in a oil fire in the sea and how to how to go in the ocean and all that kind of stuff. And, okay. And, uh, how to get out of your ship when it starts yeah. sinking, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, now eight weeks. Now what's going to happen? Well, to you? and then um, the next part of the training was um, they had about three different other schools, and I uh, I applied for and got and was able to get. Uh, the school at uh, uh, Del Monte, California, which oh, wow. was in an old hotel out in Del, Mo Del Mo called Del Monte Hotel, and it was real near, Car near Carmel, Monterey Peninsula, mm -hmm. which was an ideal place for it. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. And I had uh, three months there, uh -huh. and uh, there the training was a little more uh, advanced. Mm -hmm. What was that training in? Radio operation? Radio operation, yeah, that and we, we built radios and mm -hmm. turned them apart and yeah. that kind of stuff. You had to take the train, didn't you, from Chicago to yeah. California? Yes, uh, okay. train. Uh, that was pretty much a basic mode of travel then, wasn't it? It was, train. Yes. Yes. There was. There was some flying. I, I Later on I flew... Uh, I, I was getting ahead of the story, but I was never on a ship until I came home for discharge. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway. You always flew or took the train. I flew or took a train, yeah. Now, now in California, 
in um, where was it? Del Montico. Del, Del what was Del Monte name? Hotel. Del Monte Hotel. Hotel. It was near Carmel. 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 Now is Carmel near Los Angeles or no, it's, San Francisco? Uh, it's closer to San Francisco. It's probably a hundred miles south of San Francisco. Okay. Did you take your leave and did you have leave there? You could go to San Francisco uh, or just, places just around. Just notice weekends sometimes. Weekends. We have a okay. weekend once in a while. Okay. So. Um, you're about 18 or 19 then, aren't you? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was, I was getting to be 18, yeah. Well, well let, me, let me ask you, what does a young sailor, 19 years old, do on his leave time? <laughs> well, <laughs> I did the various things. I, uh, uh -huh. I, I remember once I went to a football game up in San Francisco. <laughs> okay, the football game. And, uh, uh, the beach at Carmel is wonderful, so oh, I yeah. put in a lot of beach time there. Okay. That Navy life is rough, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this the radio technician program was a real good program. They, most of the guys were fairly intelligent people. Yes, they and have to so, be, wouldn't uh, they? It was, it was a good, good thing to be in. Now, after that, what did you do? After that, I had... Uh, more training, and I went to Washington, D.C. at the Naval Research Lab and had six months there. On the other that, side of the country. You went from yeah, Carmel to... Carmel to Washington. Yeah. And uh, Took the this was really uh, uh, the kind of equipment that you'd see in the Navy and on ships and in airplanes. And uh, so it was, it was harder. Uh -huh. and, uh, but I, I got through it. <laughs> How long was that? How that was long? six months. That was a six-month program, yeah. right? right. Now, sometime during that, you'd be coming home on leave, wouldn't you? Yeah, after that program, uh, after that six months, I had a week before yeah. I was assigned. To... Were folks glad to see you and everything? Yeah, you remember, uh, do you yeah. remember that, yeah. coming back? <laughs> okay. Did they know you were coming or uh, on leave, or oh, did yeah. you surprise them? Yeah, yeah. I no, okay. Yeah. Six months, we're getting up to 1945. 45, right? yes, and, and this is about the time that the war with Germany ended. Mm -hmm. In May of 45, I think the war with Germany ended. And uh, a little bit after that, uh, I think probably in June or July, I graduated from that last program. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then in August, they dropped the A-bombs on Japan in August of 45, and so the war was over, and, and I was through with my training. <laughs> you were done. <laughs> I was done. They trained you, but you didn't have to work. They didn't have to work, <laughs> which was a, we're kind of lucky in a way. But what, because uh, if they hadn't dropped the bombs, I'd have been... You'd have gone over there, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. There's always a little controversy now about dropping that bomb where they should or shouldn't, yeah. but I have a feeling a lot of guys then were glad they did. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I was. Yeah. Well, um, when were you discharged? Uh, in 1946. Uh, okay. In June of 46. Where did so you I had a year and an, after that schooling. I, where did you go? Well, the first place I went was to Ocracoke Island off North Carolina for about a month. And I don't know what exactly we did there other than watch the airplanes, the Marines fly over. <laughs> we okay. didn't do anything. <laughs> we didn't do much there. Okay. And then I got shipped to uh, the West Coast and eventually to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And then I spent three months on Oahu in a uh, base called uh, Lua Lua Lei, Lua which, Lua Lua. which was on the west end of Oahu. And it was a big transmitter station for the Navy. Mm -hmm. They did all their transmitting to all the uh, all the ships and bases on the Pacific from that bay, from that place. From from, go ahead. from Lululule, Hawaii, yeah. From North Carolina, you went to Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Did you go through the Panama Canal? No, I went cross country and train and on another train. Then I flew to Hawaii they, okay. from San Francisco. You've been in the Navy over a year now and haven't been on ship, have you? No. Not <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what the Navy did. <laughs> that's what I thought. Okay. Well, so, so then uh, after Lua Lua Le, I was there about uh, two, two months or so. And then I got shipped to Midway Island. Ah. And you flew. I, I flew again, yeah. 
and uh, spends probably six months there for his discharge. What was Midway Island on? Now, they had some battles there. Well, Midway Island was kind of an interesting place. It was, uh, of course, it was long after the big battle of Midway. This was when I was there. But they, they did have a, an air base, active air base there. Mm -hmm. Not many ships came in, but a lot of airplanes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was our main function, was to take care of the electronics on airplanes. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember really spending a whole lot of time doing what I learned in school in the whole Navy. <laughs> it seems like that, like at Lua Lua Lay, where I was at the transmitter station, uh, all I did was stand watch over these transmitters to be sure they were they were running, and they were always running. So I didn't running. have to do anything. <laughs> I could study for your master's degree. Yeah. While you <laughs> <laughs> and then and Midway, as I said, we took care of mostly the uh, electronic gear on uh, airplanes. Mm -hmm. And um, then, then from Midway, you went to where? Well, I came home for discharge to oh. uh, uh, on a ship. That was the first time I was on a ship. When I came from back Midway? from Midway to San Francisco. Okay, remember the name? Well, of that? Hawaii. We stopped in Hawaii. And Stop. then, remember then, the name of that ship? No, I don't. I. I one of them I was on, either the first one to, Mid to Hawaii or the one from Hawaii to Frisco was called the Bonita. Bonita. But I, Bonita. Okay. <laughs> after the fish. <laughs> now, when you got um, in um, San Francisco, is that where you were discharged? You, yes. you got your uh -huh. discharge papers there? Well, uh, I think I went to, uh, to, uh, back to Chicago, Great Lakes area, okay. and got officially discharged from there. Did they did they call that a DD two fourteen at the time or is it, I don't know yeah that discharge paper I don't know um, so you're in Chicago and it's all wrapped up and everything and you're going to come home I got Portsmouth home. yes did your folks know you were coming home yes he did. okay <laughs> so you didn't walk up on the steps and ring the bell no. and they, okay they were glad to see you yeah okay. Um, well, that would be about 1946, then. 46, yeah. yeah. June of 46. I was in from June 44 to June of 46, two years. What did you do then? I mean, you're you're at home after the Navy, and you're well, looking ahead. I uh, I wanted to go back to MIT, so I signed up to go back for. Uh, I in the meantime. Uh, in the Navy, you had access to uh, libraries and books. And I read in a physiology book that was in the library, I, I think it was on Midway, uh, that that was much more interesting to me than electronics. Oh. So that's when I decided to become a doctor. Mm -hmm. So when I went back to MIT, I majored in their biology course for one year before mm -hmm. I transferred to the University of Michigan. What did your dad think about you wanting to... Well, first of all, it sounds like you didn't want to be a doctor. No, I not at first, no. What was, what was that about? Was that an act of rebellion, or what, what no, did you think? No, I just... Uh, I was more interested in uh, uh, math and that kind of stuff, okay. and, and science. And, okay. But, but, after, but that book on physiology on Midway Island uh -huh. Changed your mind. I did. Yes, okay. I still have a book. Do you still have yeah. that book? Yeah. Amazing. So All I right. Have paper bound books. But... What's the title? Uh, the <laughs> something about human something. I something forget. about the humans. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to MIT now. We're majoring in biology. Well, see, yes. Yeah. Okay. Did you graduate from MIT? No, or? I didn't. I, I left after that first that second year, and um, went. To the University of Michigan oh. for uh, another year of undergraduate work in the summer, mm -hmm. and then another full year, mm -hmm. and uh, then got in medical school up in Michigan. Did Did you like college? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I, and then medical school. Did you like medical school? Yes. I like was medical. it Was it as rigorous as they say? You've got to work twenty four hours well, straight. Or... It, it was. Uh, you had to study hard, but. I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I was in a, a medical fraternity and had a lot of good friends there. Mm -hmm. And we 
commiserated our anguish with <laughs> different things and got mm -hmm. along real well. How long did medical school take? It was uh, uh, four years. Four years? Yeah. At that mm -hmm. time? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do? You do a, a, an internship, residency? Yeah, I, and... I did an internship at uh, uh, Cincinnati General Hospital for a year. Mm -hmm. And then I took a uh, general practice residency at Christ Hospital in Cincinnati mm -hmm. for a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did you meet your wife? Was that where you met your wife? I met my wife in uh, Ann Arbor, yeah, Michigan. In Ann, Ann Arbor. Uh, did you get married then in Ann Arbor? Yeah, uh, we got married in her hometown of Lima, Ohio. Lima, she was from, from uh -huh. Ohio too then. Huh? What was she doing up there? She was a, uh, she, she graduated from the University of Michigan. She was working in a uh, uh, medical lab laboratory. Mm -hmm. Was that her career from then on? Uh, not really. Mostly raising children after that. That's a heck of a <laughs> career. Yeah. How many kids did you have? We have five. Five children. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so then, um, while you're in the Navy there, um, have you kept in contact? Uh, as it, as it, were you able to keep in contact after you got out of the Navy? Yeah. With any of your friends in the Navy at that time? Uh, no, I haven't really. Uh, uh, there was no, there was no uh, good way unless you got their addresses and so forth oh, yeah. when you left them. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't, I didn't keep in contact with them. When you uh, finished up, did you come back here to practice at first, or did yes. you go somewhere right yes, back sir. here? I came right back to Portsmouth. Yeah. Were, were you and your father in practice together? No, no. Had he retired by then? Or? No, he was still at his office in the in our home, old home. Oh, where did you set up, Sean? <laughs> well, I, I set up on uh, 24th Street and Souda Trail with uh, Dr. Paul McAfee. McAfee. He, uh, he had an uh, office building there that accommodated two, off, two practices, and mm -hmm. one of them was empty, so I was able to get it. Okay. And it worked out real well because Dr. McAfee helped me get started with my practice. What, was that a general practice, a uh, family practice, or what did you? Yes, okay. mm -hmm. uh, but I also was very interested in anesthesia, and I, as a matter of fact, I took extra training down in Cincinnati in anesthesia, so mm -hmm. I was doing a lot of anesthesia from the start, and eventually that's all I did. That changed a lot, hasn't it? That particular yes. technology has changed a yes, lot, hasn't it? Yes, has. it has. Right. Um, well, now you had five children then. Yes. What are their names? Well, Shelly uh -huh. is the oldest, and Shelly is uh, uh, an RN and uh, lives in uh, Wheaton, Illinois. Oh, yeah. And she has three children, and she has uh, two or three grandchildren. Huh. And or, or one to be, and uh, uh, so she. So I have three great grandchildren from Aunt, from oh, Shelley. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. And then uh, my second uh, child was Bill Junior. Uh, Bill Junior is uh, retired from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources mm -hmm. and lives in the uh, uh, Columbus area all, all his life. Mm -hmm. Do you have children? No, he never had any children. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, second one was Marsha. Uh, Marsha was uh, uh, in retail business, uh, managing stores, and uh, she was also a great scuba driver. She was an oh, really? instructor down in Destin, Florida. And she, uh, she passed away a year or so ago. Oh, my. Yeah. Did, great, did great she daughter. have children then, too? She didn't have any children either. Okay. My, second, my fourth one was uh, Rebecca. Becky uh, uh, lives in Indianapolis. She's an RN also. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had five children, one deceased. And uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, they all are in the uh, Indianapolis area, except one is in California, with her mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Uh, Number five. Number five is Jim Daler, Jim. who's uh, 
lived in Portsmouth recently, but, but moved to Sa uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, and um, he uh, has, uh, is a financial advisor for uh, Raymond James. Uh, there mm -hmm. has, he still has his office there on, sec on Second Street. I know him. I know. I know. Um, what's her name? The, his wife. Uh, well, Sarah. No, Sarah's then I don't know her. You know Rachel? Yes. Well, now that's his daughter-in-law. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Jay is his is his son. Okay. Who's running? Who works at the office? James Walter, Walter James now. On on uh, Second Street. Second Street. Okay, James yeah. Walter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She didn't quite make it for prosecutor, did no, she? No, she didn't. She didn't quite make it. <laughs> but um, she put up a good fight. <laughs> oh, she did. She really did. Yeah. Um, we, we did what we could. Yeah, she's a lawyer too, yeah. I think she'll do something again, do you? Think she'll run again or what? I, uh, I don't know. It I, takes a I lot out of say. you. It takes a lot out of you. Yeah. <laughs> she's working hard with this community, Portsmouth Community yes. Service. Yeah, now. She important. and her husband, Jay, both. Um, was uh, so when you came back, uh, were you in the reserves or anything? The Navy reserves? No, I wasn't. Okay. Did, did you get uh, hooked up with any veterans groups or anything like that? No, I didn't. Um, so I, I was just thinking about there were so uh, you had five children and uh, there you are. Where, where did you live at that time with your uh, family? We lived on. Uh, uh, Timlin Hill. Timlin Hill. The same place I live now. Oh, same place now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I hear you. <laughs> I bet that I house. I've lived there since 1954. I bet that was a, a house of a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Five kids. I had three kids. And, and, I my, uh, and my sister, Dorothy Brown, lived right up the, up the hill from me. Uh -huh. And my brother, Carl, lived up the hill a little higher. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Well, you owned that hill then. We, we had three of us there. <laughs> you know, I, I know the Daler name from furniture. Well, who was that? That was my grandfather. Oh, it was your grandfather. My grandfather was a cabinet maker when he right. came uh, came here when he was eighteen years old. He was he dropped out of school and was fourteen, took up cabinet making in Frankfurt. Oh yeah. And then he when he came over here in eighteen fifty four. He uh, he continued on with his cabinet making business and got into the furniture business. Naturally, it fits. Yeah. And um, yeah. he had the, uh, the the furniture store, and then he got into uh, undertaking. He was an undertaker, huh? Yes, okay. he was. A, he was an undertaker. <laughs> he did a little bit of everything then. Didn't he? His first businesses were down on Market Street, and then he had the big building on Second Street. After that, mm -hmm. one, as a as a funeral home, as a, as a both of them, yeah, as a funeral home too. Okay, yeah, I think they used the back entrance for the bodies, yeah. <laughs> front entrance for furniture people. <laughs> Take them in the back and sell furniture in the front. <laughs> yeah. And then they built the place on Ninth Street mm -hmm. for they were in the nineteen twenties. Is there anything else you'd, you'd like to talk about? Um, anything you want to say? Well, uh, I'd like to maybe mention a few things about my childhood. Go ahead, please. <laughs> please do. I should have uh, heard it. Yeah. Of course, I, uh, I was in the 1937 flood. I was, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, let's see, I was... Eleven years old then, and the month that was in January, and in December I had had my appendix out. So uh, of all the moving and everything that went on, I was excused because I was re supposedly recovering. Mm -hmm. And they kept you in the hospital a, a week or ten days for appendectomy in those days. What but hospital was that? That was Portsmouth General Hospital, mm -hmm. and where King's Daughters is now. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing I can remember with my father, uh, uh, we would pass baseball in the backyard oh. a lot. And uh, I think that got me uh, kind of interested in sports and because I, I, I was uh, pitched some softball in my day and played basketball. And, and 
Uh, another thing my father and I did, we walked across the Ohio River when it was frozen. When it was frozen? <laughs> I've seen yeah, it. I, I can still remember him holding my hand real tight. He had a death grip on my hand. He was afraid <laughs> I was going to fall in, I guess. <laughs> Well, I've seen pictures of a line of people walking across yes. that river. Oh, that might probably. have been one of you. <laughs> yeah. uh, wow. That's interesting. Well, did, did you play high school sports too then? Uh, yes, I played uh, reserve basketball mm -hmm. for Portsmouth High. Okay. And uh, I, did, I was interested in tennis too, and I didn't take up tennis though until later. And, uh, um, did you, did you and your dad ever go to any baseball games like down Cincinnati? Uh, we went to uh, the old uh, the teams that were here, the Redbirds. Oh, the Redbirds. Uh, we took he took me to Portsmouth Spartan games. Really? <laughs> yes. Football games. Football games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I always thought the Spartan the Portsmouth Trojans. We went to Trojans games too, Portsmouth Trojans, and I always thought the Portsmouth Trojans could beat the Spartans. <laughs> Did they ever they play? Could, no, they didn't play. <laughs> that was that was my uh, when I was four or five years old, and I, I thought oh, the Trojans yeah. were better than the Spartans, <laughs> but they would obviously weren't. <laughs> you had a um, the, you had some siblings too growing up there, and you would all get together and play. And, yeah, yeah, well, my siblings were all. I was the youngest, mm -hmm. and they were all quite a bit older than I was, and I kind of grew up. In the house by myself, they were all the way at college. Oh, and uh, mm -hmm. I I don't remember them being around too much except in their summer vacations. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, so they went off to college, and you and were. And I was, of... and I yeah, I was uh, eight years uh, difference between the next one up. So, okay, so they were all pretty much ahead of me. Now, what did they do? They went to college. They, had careers? What yeah. did they do? Then? Well, my brother was a lawyer. and uh, He was a lawyer, right, yeah. right, right. That um, was Carl, wasn't Carl, it? Carl, yes. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. yes. And, I, uh, I think he was a lawyer in the Masonic Temple building. I remember seeing a... I, or, did, or am I right about that? Uh, he was in the National Bank building. National Bank building. Uh, it must he, be he and his uncle, Edward Naylor, mm -hmm. had a combined office in the eighth floor of the National Bank building. I see. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? My my uncle Edward, yeah. I should say, was yes. was uh, probably one of my favorite uncles, and he <laughs> he took me to to Cincinnati Reds game quite often. Did he? <laughs> and uh, did you we, take a train down? No, we were. He had an old Cadillac. We went down in that. In the old Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I one one thing I wanted to ask or tell about my mother. We. We, uh, back in the heydays of Portsmouth, uh, when, when uh, the stores were all open, they were open Saturday nights. And I remember we would walk downtown every Saturday night from 9th and off near. Mm -hmm. You go downtown and shop, and all because all the stores were open, streets were crowded. My. And uh, it was just a hubbub downtown. Portsmouth used to be quite a town. Yeah. A kicking that town. Was, that's right. When it was 40,000 instead of oh, 20,000. Yeah. yeah. I think it's less than 29, yeah. 17 or 18 yeah. or something like that. Isn't it? Right. You've seen a lot of changes here, haven't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lot of, a lot changes. of changes. Anything else? Uh, I guess that's about it. <laughs> Thanks John, a lot. John, I, I want to. Congratulate you uh -huh. on the work you're doing here. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> it's a very, very new project, I think. We're up to maybe 200 now or so. Are you? We, really? Yeah, somewhere in there, maybe a little less, a little more. Uh -huh. something. And we have interviewed uh, guys that uh, survived Pearl Harbor. Uh huh. Yeah, so we Great. got their story and that sort of thing. It just uh, for I'll posterity. To, I'll have to look up some of them. Look up, yeah. Look they're, up. they're all on there, huh? <laughs> they're there. Okay. Okay. Well, Dr. Daler, thanks for coming back. I'm glad you... I thought of a couple other things that I thought might be interesting I could talk to you about. And, okay, and yeah. I, I remember one time, I remember when you were leaving, you've written some books. Tell me about the books you wrote. Oh, well, yeah, I wrote uh, a genealogy book on the family, uh, okay. some 400 pages. 400 uh, pages. did that uh, uh, 10 or 15 years ago, and... Uh, uh, took a lot of research, 
took right. several years to do it. But I uh, got a lot of help from people uh, all around and even relatives in Germany. Okay. Now, how about music? Did and then, and uh, then I wrote a uh, history of instrumental music at Portsmouth High School. Really? Uh, and uh, that it hasn't been updated now for about seven or eight years, but uh, uh, it just tell, it goes clear back to uh, when Clyde McCoy and uh, uh, Dorothy Canost were students at high school. <laughs> really, really. Uh, was that is that Miss Canost the piano teacher? Yes, that's Miss Canost the piano teacher. She uh, she was a piano player for the orchestra at the high school. My my daughters went to her for. Hey, well, piano I did lessons. too. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah okay. I took piano lessons from her. My my kids didn't quite have the fire that was needed for that yeah. kind of thing, uh -huh. but still, yeah. you know. Music uh, is something to yeah. introduce them. To. Did uh, and, are those then, books in the library? Yeah, here? Yes, and then I wrote a, a book on a, a, a history of tennis in Savannah County. History of what? Of tennis. Tennis. In, history uh, of tennis okay. in Savannah County. Right. And uh, who was our uh, first tennis player? Oh my gosh! Uh, do you know the, uh, the? I think the Taylors up on the Taylor. They had the Taylor Mansion on top of Tim O'Neill. I think he was a tennis player. Okay. <laughs> now, now, and, and those books are here in the library. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, then, yeah. and then I uh, summarized the uh, minutes of the Medical Society meeting mm -hmm. from um, 18, uh, about 1880 to 1906. And then another one from... Uh, uh, 1930 to 1946, mm -hmm. and uh, those those minutes were all handwritten, and uh, I I went through and got the high points of them and uh, summarized them and put them in print. Interesting. And the uh, the medical society. <laughs> uh, you're married, aren't you? Yes. Uh -huh. What's your wife's name? Well, it, now it's a neat. I want to tell you about uh, oh. some about uh, back at. In Michigan. in Michigan, I I played in the high, in the Michigan marching band, and uh, got a trip to the Rose Bowl. Really? And marched in the Rose Bowl parade, and uh, that's where I met uh, my first wife, Catherine. Catherine. In Ann Arbor, and um, she was we, uh, from Michigan. She was in Michigan, yeah, and mm -hmm. um, we had five children, and uh, she okay. did a fine job of raising them, and mm -hmm. um, in her midlife, she. Um, uh, decided to go back to college and went to Shawnee State and took up became an RN oh, and uh, did did home nursing for a while. Uh -huh. And uh, she was a she was a great bird lover and uh, mm -hmm. but unfortunately she uh, developed a uh, rare kind of uh, vascular anomaly in her brain and. Oh, uh, Succumbed to that in uh, oh, wow. 1999. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Are, are, you're, you're married now, though, so the second time then. What, yeah. What's your wife's you name? Know, well, my second wife's name is uh, Anita Morrison. It was Anita Morrison. And I'd known Anita for uh, for 40 years now. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I was doing anesthesia, of course, a lot. And uh, uh, Anita was the uh, head nurse in. Uh, surgery at Mercy. Okay. So I got to know her pretty well and uh, um, then um, after my wife died, why we, we married in a couple of years after that. Mm -hmm. okay. I'd known her for 30, 40 years and uh, you <laughs> although we've just been married about 18. <laughs> Had you gone to school together or, or how did you? Oh no, we just knew just, her. Just, yeah. just knew her from, from work. Okay. As she was head of nurse at surgery, and I was in surgery all the time. Yeah. And, uh, Is she from Portsmouth? Yeah, she's from uh, out near Wheelersburg uh, uh, yeah. Farm. She went to South Webster High School and uh, I see. Uh, went to uh, College of St. Teresa in uh, Minnesota for nursing training. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. after Mercy closed in... Uh, about 1990, 91, 
uh, she became a traveling nurse. She uh, uh, became uh, or went to uh, different cities all over the United States uh, to work in the surgery as a surgery nurse for uh, for periods of three to six months at a time. Interesting. And um, mm -hmm. uh, then when uh, after that she. Uh, 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 did you follow can, her around any? Uh, yes, I did <laughs> some, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of had yeah, a we, vacation. Uh, uh, she worked in Alaska, and I, I went up to Did you go there? To okay. Alaska, yeah. Well, that's uh, okay. Uh -huh. So, well, is, is there anything? And a traveling nurse, and after that, yeah. she, uh, she became a school nurse at New Boston. And uh, worked there for till a while until she, she's retired now. But uh, okay, she, she uh, very she's been very good companion and uh, uh -huh. took very good care of me through three three big surgeries I've had. Uh -huh. Okay, well, <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. um, like she right now she's. Uh, Spends her time. We travel a lot, and uh, she spends her time uh, uh, sewing and doing needlework. She Where's made, the last vacation you had together? Oh, we, go? last vacation we went to San Diego for San Diego. a week. Just, when was that? My wife just got back from San Diego. Yeah, this was a real nice place. You know? Yeah, yeah. We enjoyed it a lot. Just, just spend a week in San Diego. Um, is there anything else you'd like to tell me? I wanted to ask you about those things, but. Uh, Anything you want to add? Well, um, well, I, I just I I was telling about her her doing needlework, and yeah. she she makes uh, she's made innumerable uh, needlework blankets for all our great nieces and nephews and grandchildren, <laughs> and she works so works at that all the time oh, almost gosh. and. Uh, yeah. Enjoys it, and uh, so it's been a been a good thing for. Her. Okay, that's <laughs> that the end of our story then. <laughs> I like that Alaska trip. <laughs> yeah, I uh, well, we we went last last fall. We went to Costa Rica. Oh yeah, that was a good trip too. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> John. <laughs> okay. <laughs>